Hello everyone. This video we're going to learn how to set up our IP camera system a thousand meters away from our main network and without cabling. So first we can know that over a thousand meters is not a traditional length for Ethernet or PoE network setup because Ethernet and PoE network setup is usually limited at 500 to 800 meters depending on your network's quality. So today we're going to talk about different solutions. Well, we might think of using uh, fiber optic cables, but this will cost labor and a lot of new devices introduced into our system. It is a workable solution, but it will co the cost and time frame is going to be longer than the one I'm going to introduce you guys to. So if not using fiber optic cables, what else are we going to use? Okay, now since we're going to use a very cool method, which is using a pair of devices, this is our wireless network bridge. This pair of device will transmit our network signal from a transmitter and to another one, a receiver. This will create a network tunnel for the data transmission over a thousand meters and up to two or three thousand meters, depending on what kind of transmitter and receiver we buy. They usually come in a pair and one, they look the exact same. We just have to switch into different modes. As you can see, there is a S and M switch here. The S means slave, then the M means master. Master usually stands for the transmitter and the transmitter will connect to our main network. Then it would provide the data from the, get the data from the main network and transmit it as wireless signals. And then the slave device will, will act as the receiver. The receiver will be a thousand meters away connected with another IP device and this will receive the signal and transmit the signal as digital device, digital signals to our connected IP device. And you can see there are Ethernet ports here so we can use Ethernet cables to uh, fulfill this connection. So once we use an Ethernet cable to complete this connection, this connection, you can see we have a powered switch right here, which will receive power and data and act as a working PoE switch in the outside field, which then can provide power and data to our IP camera, our iPad to zoom camera in this case. And then we can see our image far away back in our main network system. And then we can see on this monitor here, it's really easy to understand. So let's talk about each device in detail and you will know how much it will benefit us because we can just simply add this to our network without introducing any more stuff, maybe just a few more ethernet cables. So first of all, it's our main network here connected to our NVR, the network video recorder, which will help us watch the live feed on our monitor. And then this is an ethernet cable connected to our NVR. And then all we have to do is connect it to our main, our master device the receiver of our wireless network bridge. You can see there are two ports here. One is LAN and PoE, one is uh, just simply LAN. And this one will provide PoE features if we need it, but in this case, we don't. And if there is a 12 volt direct current uh, connector here, so we have to connect it to direct current uh, adapter to receive power. And now you can see the, it, the device is turned on and all we need to do is let it wait and let us set up our receiver. So the slave device will imagine this half part right here is around a thousand meters away. And then we have to connect this to a power source as well. And uh, same as the master device, a 12 volt, 12 volt direct current adapter will work. And you can see the power is turned on as well. And now we have to use an ethernet cable and connect this to our PoE powered switch. So any two of the ethernet ports all will work. So now let's take a look at our outdoor PoE powered switch. As you can see this whole metal out casing it indicates it is waterproof and dust proof. The water and dust will not penetrate this case and compromise our components. So it's safe outside when we use it and the power source is a 12 volt adapter as well and this is also waterproof so this whole part this whole combo is really safe on the outdoors when we use it and then we connect we can see that 
There are eight ports, just as our regular indoor PoE power switch. Eight ports, meaning port number eight, is used to receive power and data. So if we want this to receive the power and data, we need to connect our slave device, our wireless network bridge, to port number eight. It should be receiving power and data, uh, data, and the power is separately supported from our alternating current. So all other seven ports are ready for outputting power and data PoE signals. And you can see th these, this one, and you can see there are indicators on it as well. And this PoE powered switch also has 100 megabits per second bandwidth. And the total bandwidth can go all the way up to 1000 megabits per second. And this is also have a very wide work, working temperature range. So it is safe in all sorts of conditions. And once we have connected our PoE powered switch with our wireless network bridge, we connect our panel television camera with any port. And then we should be okay. And then we'll just see and wait for it. So we're gonna wait for the image to appear on our screen on the monitor here. So you can see there's something on the screen now and I'm gonna wave my hand in front of the camera to let you guys see this is a live video feed. Okay, so a quick tip for you guys, when we use a wireless network bridge, we're gonna to have to introduce you to this knowledge of line of sight. These two wireless network bridges, we have to install them high with no obstacles in the middle to make sure there's nothing that will interfere the wireless transmission. Just like our router, if we go, if we're between walls and forest, the wireless signal gets interfered. You know, that's why like when we're routers outside in the living room, we always get bad reception. We have to make sure the space between these two wireless network bridges are really clear with almost zero obstacles. And they, these two have to be facing each other because they're like, they have to be facing each other to let the signal, wireless signal transmit here and receive, get received. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys have any more questions on how to set up this connection or anything relevant, you can leave them at the section below. Uh, thank you guys for watching today and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.